Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Time to discuss further into applications of integrals and look further into probability and go over again the median uh, video series and look at the example one of this uh, video series. Basically, go over this example which states show that the median uh, waiting time for a phone call to the company described in my earlier video. Correct the grammar. Uh, the Marley video probability average value example 2 you can see that in the video link below and and basically we're asked to show that it's approximately 3.5 minutes and remember the median is the, the the value that splits the probability density function into two so um, yeah into two halves uh, and you can see that in my last video basically first thing we'll do is recall from this video this example 2 video write this neater so basically recall that the average wait time of that example was five minutes and uh, and this is uh, written by the Greek symbol mu so five minutes that's the average or the average or the mean and and then the probability density function was determined in that video it's zero it's zero if time is less than zero and it's uh, it's equal to one over five e to the power of negative t over five if t is greater than or equal to zero. So for us to find the median, so basically if we find the median, we'll call this m for median. And it's it's again it's the probability that you'll have something greater than this uh, median. That's um, yeah, the probability has to be fifty percent. In other words, again the area of the, uh, the area underneath the probability density function has to be half. So in other words, we will write this down. So we could write down the integral from m to infinity, or you could do negative uh, infinity to m. We'll just do it with the positive side here. Uh, f of t dt has to equal to one half. So this is definition of a median. Again, make sure to watch my last video, get a better idea of this. So now to get this one, we'll plug this in. But since, uh, since as you can see here, it's zero for anything less than zero, we'll only deal with positive values of time. Because obviously the area underneath zero is just gonna be zero, so that's not affected. So we'll only look at this part right here. Okay, so plug this inside. We have one half is equal to the integral from m to infinity of one over five e to the power of negative t over five dt. And now this is a, a integral with an interval that uh, goes to infinity, so it's an infinite interval, so we can't just uh, integrate that directly, so we have to write this as a limit, as I explained in my early videos of limits to infinity. Make sure to watch those in the link below as well. So we could write this as Limit, use a different variable, let's use x. So limit as x approaches infinity from the integral from m to uh, x right here. So now we're dealing with variables, just basic variables, instead of infinity, which is not defined. So 1 over 5, e to the power of negative, uh, like that, t, yeah, e to, e to the power of negative t over 5, dt. Now this 1 over 5 is a constant, so we could just take it out of the integral and outside the limit as well because it does, won't affect anything, it's just a constant. So we'll take this out. Yeah, let's write this in neater, 1 over 5. So when we take this out, now what we end up having is the limit as x approaches infinity. And now we solve the integral of this uh, e to the power of negative t to, uh, 5. We'll, what we'll get is the integral of an exponential function is itself but we have to deal with the constant in the exponent, which is negative one over five, so we have to divide by negative one over five. And then this is gonna be, we evaluate this from uh, m up to x, like that. And now m to x, this is one negative one over five, that's also a constant. So this is one over five divided by negative one over five, the one over fives cancel, we're just left with a negative. We could just take this out of the integral, cancel it out, what we end up having is negative just to make it simplified further, negative limit as x approaches infinity. Write this m neater and this limit like that. 
And now this is from e to the negative t over 5. So we have a simplified uh, function like that. So now we evaluate this, plug those inside. So we have negative limit x approaches infinity. And then we get e to the oh. negative x over 5. And now we have to subtract by putting the m inside. So e to the power of negative m over 5, like that. So now we could write this a uh, bit neater. So just flip these upside down so easier to take the limit. Limit as x approaches infinity of, now we have 1 over e to the x over 5. So just make it positive power. So it's easier to deal with. Minus 1 over e to the m over 5 like that. So now the limit as x approaches infinity, in, in this case right here, well, m is not, it's not the x variable, so there's no x variable in this, so whatever x is doesn't affect this, so this just remains as is. But in this case, we have 1 divided by e to the power of x over 5. As x approaches infinity, we get a 1 over, uh, so what we get is 1 over e to the power of infinity, which also goes to 1 over infinity. And 1 divided by a really large number, as it gets larger and larger, goes to 0 overall. So this whole thing goes to 0. And then this limit doesn't affect us, so what we end up having is negative limit as x approaches infinity. Now we have 0 minus this number, because that limit goes to infinity. Actually, we erase this. We already just, never mind, we, we, we already wrote the limit. So limit goes away, we're left with a 0 minus, minus like that, 1 over e to the m over 5. So that's what we have, this negative this makes it positive here. So what we end up having is one half, let's write this, this whole thing is equal to one half. One half equals two, negative zero is to zero, negative, negative one over e to the power of m over five is positive. So we get one over e to the m over five. So now we try to solve for this, rearrange this by multiplying this over to put it over there, put the two on the other side, just flip these around. What we end up having is e to the m over 5 is equal to 2. And now what we could do is simplify this further by lawning both sides. So if we lawn this and lawn, so we're not changing anything, and recall the logarithmic property here, this power goes, I mean this exponent goes in front. So what we end up having is m over 5 ln e is equal to ln 2. So in ln e, recall that this is just goes to 1. So ln e is just equal to 1, or like that, like this. So that's just equals to 1. So what we end up having is m, and move the 5 over this way, m is equal to 5 times ln 2. So that is our answer, like that. Yeah, and now when you plug this in the calculator, 5 times ln e, as I just put it in the Google calculator, we get 3. 4.657, so I'll just round it up to 3.47, so this is roughly 3.47 minutes. But uh, yeah, so that's the answer, so that's the exact answer is 5 times ln 2, and this roughly equals to uh, 3.47, but the question asks, uh, show that it's approximately equal to 3.5, and again, we'll round it up again, so m is roughly equal to 3.5 minutes, which is the median number where the probability that we have, that we wait longer than this is 50%, and the probability that we wait less than 3.5 minutes is, is also 50%. In other words, the area under the curve to the right is half or 50%, and to the left side is also half or 50%, because the total area underneath the probability density function is 1. Anyways, uh, yeah, 1 or 100%. Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you learned from this pretty interesting video on determining the median of a probability density function. And uh, again, yeah, uh, hopefully you enjoyed. And like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.